What is the most aggressive thing a woman has ever done to gain your attention? Handed me her phone. Flip phone era. She had typed I don't usually do this but I want to be yours tonight if you'll let me or something to that effect. We ended up dating. Well that is nice. A lot of other stuff I read here terrifies me a little bit. Took a lot of math classes in college. A young college woman asked if I would tutor her and she can't keep up with her class. She comes over and immediately plops herself down on my bed like she owns it, never been over before. And then after like 5 minutes of small talk before we even get to the homework she bluntly and very much out of the complete blue says I wanna see what your dong looks like. Most piesque moment of my entire life. I never did help her with her math at all. I hate to break it to you. She was an undercover agent for the mandatory dong inspection agency. If you're still around to read this, you passed. I'd been dancing like a tea at a party. Went outside to cool off. Girl comes out and punches me full in the stomach. I'm there going WTF. She informs me that it's unacceptable to have left the dance floor when her favorite song just came on. I assume that's what you mean by aggressive. You treated her precious like it was nothing but a mere trinket. My 29th birthday we had a small party at my brother's place. A few co-workers showed up. I went to pee. When I opened the bathroom door a girl I worked with was standing outside the door. Before I could say anything or take a step out she had grabbed me by the front of my shirt and pushed me back back into the bathroom and started making out with me. Super hot and very unexpected. 11th grade. She carved a wooden heart out and put our initials on it and handed it to me after high school. I had never spoken to her. She was a foreign exchange student and barely spoke English. I felt bad for being a bit put off, but admired the testicular fortitude. I told a girl that I had crushed on since first grade about the crush on high school graduation night. She thought it was sweet, since I was never creepy about it. Just worshipped from afar. She gave me a nice smooch on the lips, though. Worth the wait. Her personality definitely matched her fantastic looks. I said I was a lifeguard she said she could volunteer if I needed CPO practice. One girl walked up to me and straight up asked if I had a girlfriend I said no then asked if I wanted one. Those two stand out the most. The second one is actually how my parents started dating. My dad went through her line at the store and she asked him the exact same thing. Apparently the line works sometimes. At the end of a class everyone was squeezing into an elevator. This girl and I liked each other but I still try to give her space. She manhandles me closer to her and says don't be scared. Everyone around us was like whoa. That sparked our relationship. I was in a club with 4 friends and I drunkenly walked up behind one of my female friends and grabbed her thong and gave her a wedgie. The girl who turned around was not one of my friends but a pretty hot girl I'd never seen before. I started apologizing like crazy and she said, don't worry about it, gave me a kiss and her phone number. We ended up dating on and off for a year. Had company over and we were all drinking. One woman in particular had been talking to me all night, but I was too drunk to see the signs. I went to the garage to grab something and she followed to help then out of the blue she says I just started going to a new place to get waxed how did they do and drops her pants in front of me. OP I 100% understand the testosterone comment. Stuck her thigh between my legs and tried to hump me, while my gf sat right next to me laughing her butt off. That crap never ever happened to me when I was single. I work in what many would consider a more conservative environment. Not politically conservative, workplace etiquette conservative due to the nature of our business. I had been working at my current job for about 3 weeks when this very attractive woman, that works in a different department, drove by in a company vehicle and yells dude, you give me a huge lady boner, being who I am, I thought it was funny as heck. I am happily married, which she did not know at the time and in the decade that has followed we have become good friends. She has since married and had children but we still randomly joke about it. I once had an ex tell me that I give her a wide on lol I found it funny as heck. Friend's girlfriend asked me to frick her in the bathroom of a strip club. We were sitting at the bar and my friend was maybe 4 feet away with his back turned. Turns out they deserved each other cause a couple years later my friend tried to get my girlfriend to cheat on me with him. No longer friends. Wow that's a wild story. They were both toxic loves meant to be. 
Had a girl in college walk up look me up and down and say you look like a good frick let's leave. She later tried to stab me through a door because she thought it was locked. If you're gonna bang crazy chicks use a condom and have sturdy doors. Sat on my lap. Put her arms around me and then blew hot breath in my ear and said take me home. We were at a friend's place. But after that we were gone in 60 seconds. A girl once walked right up to me at a party, stood less than a foot away, looked me in the eyes and asked if she could kiss me. I knew who she was, but not that she was interested in me at all. I wasn't seeing anyone, so I said something witty like, um, sure we've been married for 11 years. She thanks tequila when she tells people how we got together. I was at a restaurant with three friends. We're sitting at the table, cutting up, laughing, and having a good time. Out of nowhere, a crumpled up napkin lands right next to my plate. I look up and a waitress is walking by and smiling at me. I'm clueless and say something like who's throwing their trash at me? She walks by again and low key says to open it. Written inside is her name and phone number. Sitting in a nightclub booth and this girl just comes over and sits on my lap and started kisses. No words were spoken. I went to the gents came back and she'd left. She gave you herpes. Not super aggressive but snatched my phone out of my hand and put her number into my contacts before telling me to call her. We went out on one date and she ended up being nuttier than squirrel crap so I bailed on her. N nuttier than squirrel crap. Hum. Girl 1. She straight up asked me on a date. In the middle of the date hinted in seeing the inside of my apartment. Then at the end of the date asked if she could use the bathroom in my apartment. Girl 2. I was giving a ride home from the bar. When we got to her place, I said goodnight. She grabbed the keys out of my ignition and said you aren't going anywhere tonight and ran into her house with them. A long time ago, I used to do trade school two nights a week. One night I was leaving school in my little car and pulled up at the lights out the front. I look over and the chick in the car next to me was kinda hot. She gave a little smile. I smiled be back trying to play it cool, then went back to waiting for the light. After a few seconds I noticed she's waving at me. I looked over and she's smiling, waving and giving me the sign to wind down my window. So, feeling pretty good about myself, I went down the window, thinking I'm going to get a number. She immediately told me I'd left my backpack on the roof of my car. The light went green and she drove off. See now this I can believe. Drinking with my friends at a house party and a girl walks up and grabs my hand starts pulling me away from my friends and says we are going to frick I will bring him back. We did. Was great. Threw her arms around my neck and wouldn't let go. We were 16 years old. We will celebrate our 46th anniversary later this year. Comma together for 51 years. She has poor taste in men. But I'm pretty happy about that. Mine grabbed me by the shirt and pulled me in to kiss her. Been together since 16 you and married for 19 years. My friend and I got stranded on the side of the road when his car broke down. We called a friend to pick us up. He showed up with two girls sitting in the bed of his truck. My friend got in the cab. And I got in the back of the truck. One girl started patting down my pockets and asked if I had money because she was hungry for Jack in the Box. We've been together for 20 years now. We get Jack in the Box for lunch every anniversary. Weirdly adorable lol. There was one girl that worked at the gym I go to. She was really nice we talked pretty often. One day I stayed until she was about to close the gym. And just before she closed she said she needed to do stretches because she had a dance class the next day. She invited me to do the stretches with her. I thought she meant me just helping her like pushing her down or lifting holding something. Just being of assistance to her. Instead she wanted me to do them with her. As in do the stretches myself. Now, she's a semi-professional dancer practicing modern dance. Her stretches are not human not something I can even think of doing. So I bite the bullet and do them anyway because why not. She's nice and it's kinda funny toppling over every time I try to do something. Anyway, at some point we were to do one of those stretches where you sit down. Put the soles of your feet up against each other. Pull them as close to your body as you can while still keeping them on the floor. And then push your knees down while bending forward. After toppling over a couple times I managed to get stable and actually do it but I can't get my knees very low because I am stiff as frick and have shortened tendons in my legs. 
She laughs her butt off literally rolling on the floor crying from laughter. So to help me she gets up behind me, mounts me, literally climbs on my back, spreads her legs around my ribs and starts pushing down my knees with her own knees. All she had to do was stand in front of me and push my knees down with her palms. But instead of doing that she saddles me like a horse. She ends up falling over me and I grab her as she's falling over so she doesn't hit the ground face first. It ends up looking like one of those cringe cliche anime moments. She fell on her back and I fell on top of her with my hands around her. Safe to say I had a hard time keeping my composure because she's really good looking being a dancer and all. It really didn't feel aggressive at the time. I found it pretty cute honestly. We ended up having an impromptu date that night. When I asked her why on earth would she mount me like that she said that she just wanted a reason to climb on me. We're still together and to this day I still tease her about it. And she still keeps climbing on top of me. Ate this one is hella cute. A few years ago. I was flying back to college after a trip, I'm at my gate waiting to board, I think reading a book or something, and I notice a cute girl, I look at her a few times, our eyes meet a bit, etc. I notice she boards before me, as I'm getting on, I see her sitting in first class and we exchange a glance again, I shuffle down the rows, finally finding my assigned seat. And I ask the woman sitting in the aisle seat to get up so I can get into the window seat and settle in. Shortly thereafter, a flight attendant comes to our row. She addresses the woman sitting next to me and asks her, Would you like to sit in first class? The woman is a little confused as the flight attendant continues that. Somebody would like to swap seats with you. Of course she accepts and follows the flight attendant forward. Soon, the cute girl returns to sit next to me. She had traded out of first class to sit next to me. She was pretty cool. We talked the whole flight and exchanged numbers after and texted for a few weeks or so afterwards. It sure felt like a pretty big compliment. For all the fellas that have never had any woman try and get their attention. Come with me. We're not wanted in this thread. When I worked as a museum guide in the past I would often have generational families on trips together. Children, parents and grandparents. One family had two dogs, those, one around my age. After my tour had ended the grandma came up to me. I figured she had some more questions but all she did was tell me how her granddaughter was single and I should have a shot at her. Gma even started wingmaning the crap out of her grandchild by telling me about how nice she was and for how long they would be in town. Grandmothers make the best women I guess. I was in the club one night on the dance floor and had a girl lift up her skirt, no panties on, and jump on me and I couldn't get her off of me until some other girl came over, who had witnessed the whole thing, and peeled her off of me, yelling at her the whole time to have some respect for herself. It was funny as all heck. In my discreet math class in college, I was sitting in the back, like you do when you an awkward guy that has problems with falling asleep in class. Enter a girl, we'll call her Kay. Kay walks in late and scans the room, and immediately makes a beeline to sit right next to me. We didn't really talk much, but after a few classes, she asks for my phone to put her number in it. She immediately texts and asks if I'm DTF. While we are still sitting in class, to say I was shocked would be an understatement. A girl grabbed my new glasses at a bar and put them on, then walked away. So I followed her and asked for them back and she said she'd only give them back to me if she could put them on me. Okay, fine. Then she or them on and then grabbed my face and kissed me. My friends thought it was funny. I did not. I am very glad my now wife was not there that night. Seriously, no touching the glasses. College library. Beautiful young woman ran up to me as I was doing homework and whispered in my ear. I want your body. She retreated nearby to await my response. Except I didn't understand what she whispered until hours later when it was too late. She had whispered so quickly and too close to my ear that it sounded like gibberish. I felt so stupid later, and felt so bad for her too. She took a huge risk and I was a dope for not approaching her to tell her the truth. Yup, I was that clueless at 18. I would have just thought it was a dare and just answering back would mean I fell for the trick. Flashed me with the spinny red and blue lights on her work car. Got my attention completely and sent my heart fluttering. A few minutes later she was gone from my life as quickly as she had arrived 35 miles per hour. 
The way her eyes bore into my soul while she matched my face to my license will be etched into my deepest memories forever. Went on a first date with a woman who I had no idea how good or bad the date was going. At the end of the date while she was pulling me in for a hug, she started passionately making out with me on the side of the road. I'm talking moaning and gentle dry humping making out. This carried on for several minutes before I needed to stop, as I was losing blood to down below and nowhere near her or my house. Anyways, it led to a very great two years. Then she tripped and fell on the dong of the guy I didn't need to worry about. On my birthday, you win some, you lose some, eh? It can be difficult to walk in high heels I guess. Hope you are okay. A girl was with her mother at the shop where I worked. She came closer and closer to me, till I made an obvious step back. Couple days later she visited again but alone. She asked some unnecessary questions about products and wanted to see one up close. So I had to open up the package. Meanwhile she came really close to me and was pushing her breast against my arm. While at a Halloween party many years ago, on my way out, this hot 40-ish aerobics instructor comes over, blocks the door, says no no, you can't leave, and proceeds to approach me, fondles my butt, my chest, and grabs my arm tightly and continues you gotta stay, don't go, while staring at me with literally starving eyes. For your information, she was fully sober, I found the whole situation a bit funny and peculiar. Cause if I wasn't in full joker disguise, with makeup and whatnot, that kind of woman would never approach me for sure. We truly do live in a society. Before she became my GF, she invited me over for a group thing but secretly never invited anybody else. Then, she opened the door in just a bathrobe and asked me for a massage. It worked and I stayed over for 2 days. Another girl poured a beer over my head and started crying because apparently I was not paying attention to her. I got upset because it was a nice leather jacket. When I went to the bathroom, she followed me and dropped to her knees. It was a student party on campus and a bunch of girls followed her into the bathroom eventually and it was weird but what can I say. Another one called me to her dorm to fix the TV. I told her I was not a TV guy but she insisted. When I arrived, there was no TV and she just jumped me and got started. It became a thing and she'd just text me TV needs fixing. And last but not least, one of my earliest aggressive interactions was in a lounge, also a student party. This girl I knew from before out of nowhere said she got a nipple piercing and whether I wanted to see it, of course I did. I was out one night with my friends getting drinks and two girls came to the table where me and my friends were at. I had just got an arthroscopic shoulder surgery and she said she felt bad for me since I had my arm in a sling. She then proceeds to tell me that she likes girls but she thought I was cute and she stuffed my face in her boobs. That whole interaction left me really confused. A long time ago when I was in high school a girl that liked me, proceeded to hit me with a chair into the ground, just out of nowhere, and then bited me in the neck. Did you like my vampire kiss? There is a lot who will just grab you by the junk and try and steer you. But this one time I had this horse girl who grabbed me by the hair on the back of my head and whisper in my ear that she would break me like a feral and add me to her stud book. Then she smacked me with her horse whip thing. Scared the crap out of me. Horse chicks. Never even once. Grabbed me by the wiener in the middle of a crowded house party. I've also been grabbed by the back of my head and the girls start making out with me in the middle of a club I we never spoke a word to each other, and several surprise stripper kisses. In class, this girl would give me severe eye contact and when I'd glance at her back, she'd do the what, with the raised shoulder and eyebrows so I finally asked her about it. She's my ex now. Was 1994 at a party, a bit high and drunk. She sat in my lap and gave me that smile. Continued to sit there and chat for some time while the testosterone kicked in. Dated for 6 years and are now on our 22nd year of marriage. I would always win and my friends at parties by talking girls into just sitting on their laps. Also got a female friend to get the guy she was crushing on this way. She was getting awkward in front of him trying to get up the nerve to sit on his lap like I advised. So I walked by and bumped her. Lift up my kilt at the bar to see if I was wearing underwear. I wasn't so at one point she was given me a hand job under the table. Name checks out. Grabbed my junk. 
looked me dead in the eyes and said do you know why they call me the mosquito? It's because I'm so good at sucking. This sounds like a really bad villain catchphrase lol. Tripped me. Like straight up just stuck her leg out as I was walking past making me stumble and almost fall flat on my face. I wasn't overly interested in speaking to her after that. Like what's wrong with high honesty. Now go for the injurious method instead. Had a girl basically hold me hostage in my own car. A group of us had gone to see a movie in the afternoon and she needed a ride to school cause she had a night class. I say no problem and give her a ride. When we get to the parking lot she doesn't get out of the car. I'm like what's up. She says her class isn't for another hour. So she'll just hang here until then. Now I was confused and really needed to pee so I try to annoy her out of the car. I even ripped a good fart thinking I could gas her out. No dice. Out of defeat I end up resting my head on her for a second and when I go to move my head she pulls it into her chest and when I turned my head towards hers to ask what's this all about she kisses me. At that point I think that she may like me. You never know. She may just be trying to be polite. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.